वी आर एट बमरोली सीवर ट्रीटमेंट प्लांट इन सूरत हेयर इन सूरत अराउंड वन थाउजेंड एम एल डी और मिलियन लीटर पर डे ऑफ सीवेज कम्स थ्रू अराउंड लेवन सीवेज ट्रीटमेंट प्लांट one of them is where we are right now this plant has a installed capacity of 215 right now it treats around 130 mld of sewage we have with us mr bharat desai is the executive engineer of the nene department of surat municipal corporation okay so sir please tell us this first process what is that is coming right now the sewage that has been collected from our household and the commercial property through pumping station and pumping main it is first come over here this is called inlet chamber okay. collect currently you see all the dark sewage is being thrown in this pit the from that the first will be the screen whatever the particles physical particles floating particles are there that floating particles will be screened from this you can see that and thereafter the physical chemical process will be started that consists of primary treatment as well as secondary sewage treatment okay. so once that sewage comes to that chamber inlet chamber it goes through mechanical screening where it all the other particles like plastic materials are sorted out then it comes to something called a grid chamber the heavy particles that is called grid is also coming with this sewage and in this it will be settled and with this screw mechanism it will be separated out and taken out it is separated and you can see at the bottom it is being collected and through this uh, tractor we are disposing to this khajob disposal plant so once the process of separation of grit takes place the water comes to the different chambers and here there are three processes involved in this three processes whatever is the one is filling and you can see here first the aeration will be provided okay. after the aeration this will be settled in this so this is taken in water and in that last is a decanting the water will be taken out all entire biological process takes place in one single chamber instead of different chamber that's the reason how you can save the space mera naam hai priyesh magajwala main yahan ka plant in charge hu yahan pe jo ye pura treatment facility isko bolte hai sequential batch reactor technology isme jo air rehta hai isme biological process hota hai to biological process mein food micron ratio fm ratio jo bolte hai usko maintain karna padta hai तो इसमें जो एयर एयर देने का मकसद ये है कि जो बैक्टीरिया रहते हैं बायोलॉजिकल तो उसको जिंदा रखने के लिए आपको बाहर से ऑक्सीजन देना पड़ता है तो इसके लिए हम उनको एयर देते हैं जिसके कारण वो बैक्टीरिया जिंदा रहते हैं और बैक्टीरिया जो है वो अपना स्लब जो सुवेज वाटर है उसमें जो स्लज है और उसको ऐसे फूड वो खा जाता है नाउ वी हैव कम टू द यू वी चेम्बर हेयर अल्ट्रा वायलेट रेज आर गोइंग टू बी यूज टू किल द बैक्टीरिया ओवर हेयर and coliform bacteria so that nothing will remain in this all the whatever the bacteriology something is left out it is also cleared here okay. and secondary process is completed at this end okay. you can see the water is taken out from the uv chamber so oh, this is the water this is the water you saw the first water there yeah. and now this is the secondary treated water so this can be released into the Okay. The natural water course is available because we are treating as per the pollution control board standards. Okay. We are in the UV control room. Whatever the water is being treated, there are certain parameters as per the pollution control board that will be observed online on this, and that is collect connected with the uh, pollution control board. The data is directly fed to their uh, their area. so even pollution control board also can come to know what are the disposal parameters available in this plant so mr they say there a lot of energy is used in uh, running this kind of a plant so don't you think it's like a dichotomy here that you know once you are trying to clean water so the energy is also getting utilized and that energy is coming from somewhere so what have you done for that so as far as the sewage plant is concerned whatever the sewage gas generated after the due process that is normally to be flared up from this you can see that that is the flare provided now we what we did 
that we have provided gas engine into it we are using that first into that gas we are that gas is going to scrubber where the h2s is removed and whatever the pure methane is extracted from there that we are feeding into our gas engine and from this gas engine electricity is generated that will uh, you know provide around 30 to 40 percent electricity demand of the plant itself so 3 megawatt is the total demand and 5 megawatt is 0.5 what 0.5 megawatt. 0.5, megawatt. 0.5 megawatt 0.5 megawatt is what you kind of generate from the generate from the a plant power. that is around 10 percent right now but it will increase up to 30 percent in the third process, where the tertiary filtration started, we went to the disk filter. Once the water goes to the disk filter, it then comes to UF and RO, ultra filtration and reverse osmosis. And the water that we saw at the start of the video will look something like this. And let's see if it's something that we can consume. We say that we are having sewage treated water it's fine i don't know if i'm gonna get uh, ill after drinking this no nothing not at all just a show thank you so much for watching this video we'll bring you more such videos give your suggestions in the comment section keep watching this space <laughs>